M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're looking at the Alliance HD1. And it's 2022, November. Now the code plug has been updated a bit, but not massively, it's very similar, but it's been updated a bit since uh, previous videos that you may have seen. So uh, let's start from the beginning. I've already added quite a few channels just to get the basics. So let's start from the top and work down. Go to Alance, go to their site and you can download the software. I'll put links in the description. Also put links in for the firmware and we'll do separate videos on the firmware. So there's the Alance HD1 and this is a GPS model. We'll start at the top with basic settings. Double click that. Let's close this window so you get a blank thing. So when you, the radio is connected and you read from it, you will have all these details here, serial number and firmware and ETC. First thing I'll do is go to settings and on this page I have, I don't think I've changed anything. No, don't, I literally don't think I've changed one thing. Then go down to key settings, buttons, you decide what you want. So let's just say you want one for power change. You want another one for say promiscuous mode, which is here somewhere. There you go. Short press and long press right and left. I'm not gonna do the programmable one keys and all that in this video. So you can do zone plus or minus, that's always quite a handy thing. So whatever the radio works best for you, I haven't actually got the radio here, so when I have got it, I will um, you know, tell you what works best for me. But for now, we've programmed four buttons, okay? Done that. Then we're gonna go to one key call. Like I said, we're gonna do that separately. You can basically program a key uh, to do a certain specific function, a bit more advanced than the usual functions. Now, this is really important, your DMR ID. So it can ha you can have more than one, as you can see, you can have several. We're just gonna put in one. So under the word radio ID, 2341437 is my ID. And we're gonna put in our call sign, M0FXB. You, you definitely need to register this. Just Google register DMR number. You need to have a ham call sign and, and that you'll get one within a few days. Okay, so that's in there. Close that window down. That's good. Let's close the windows just not to confuse you. First thing you're going to do is need to create some channels. So here, just double click channels. And you get this nice big channel window. So VFO A and B, we're not going to change that now, but you could, so you could because that's going to be what happens whenever you select VFO mode. So if you prefer to be on 145, say, dot 500 in, two me in the two meter band, 145.500, put that in and then 433, let's say dot 300 for 70 centimeters. 433.300. The reason you're able to put two frequencies is because you don't have shifts on this radio. You put in the input and the output frequency or receive and transmit. So I've got quite a few channels in here. Let's just do one at a time. So we'll create one channel, then I'll show you how to put it into what they call a zone. So why do you have channels and then zones? Channels are, are a long list of, of channels, okay? Zones are a place where you can put them so you can find them easily. So you'll have one zone, call it, imagine it like a bucket of channels. One zone with all of your two meter channels. One zone with all the repeaters that are in the Southwest. One zone with say all your PMR channels. It's for easy, it's easier to find the channels on a radio when they're in a zone. Okay, so let's create a channel. So number one is gonna be my hotspot because that's the what I use the most with DMR. So let's go down to that. Now we can put the frequency in here. You see I've typed it already, 433.550. It's a simplex hotspot. So we've added that again. We've selected digital, uh, slow power if it's at home. I'm just saying yes to scan for now. Bandwidth, I'm just leaving that at 25 for now. Uh, it doesn't really matter when you're in digital anyway, but when you're in analog, then that does matter. Uh, and then you can name the channel, so we'll call this one Hotspot 2. two. And then if you hit the arrow, like so, you're gonna start to see everything you need to set. So the important one with the digital channel is, number one, definitely name it so you know what it is, so it's Hotspot and we're going to call this hotspot 9, actually, because it will be set to talk group 9. Talk groups are really important. They are what you're going, when you transmit, they are going to be where you come out when you TX. So let's just show you 
how to create a talk group, which the other name of it is contacts. So it's the same thing, TX contact or talk group, you know, it gets you to the same place. So double click contacts here on the left, see that? Let's shut this window a minute. Contacts on the left, double click, and then click priority contacts. That's the one on the HD one you wanna look at. These are all your talk groups, and there are hundreds, of course. I've just got the few that I use. So one of the, the way you add these is just you click add at the bottom. It starts with blank. Private is more for direct calls, person to person. Group call tends to be what we all listen to, like talk group 91 and 2350, all those kind of things. So the important thing isn't actually the name. It's actually the, uh, the number, which is on the far right hand side here, call ID. Imagine it like a phone number. Yeah, your phone number is your DMR number. The talk group number is the call ID. So if we just do this one here as, I'm just gonna do 80 for now, which is like a Phoenix number, 80. So we've now just created a talk group or contact number, number 80. So if we wanna go back to that channel that we are creating, which was number one here, click the arrows on the right, opens this window and then what we wanna do is at the bottom here you've got contact. So select priority, because that's the only one you'll really use. Then click, this is the long list of the contacts you've been creating. So we've just created 80. If you've got a favorite talk group number, this is where it will be listed after you've created it in contacts here, talk groups. So they should bracket it as talk groups, but I get it because you know not necessarily every contact is a talk group. It can be a person. Uh, so I see why they don't. Anyway, so uh, TX contact. Uh, GPS, I was really, nothing else there I would change. The slot does matter. So DMR channels have are cut in half. Let's say it's cut in half. And they use either slot one or slot two. And so generally I tend to use slot two on my hotspots. Then you've got color code. Most hotspots are color code one, but repeaters can be other color code numbers. So that's important to learn. Then ID setting, that's obviously your call sign. So we're not gonna do receive group lists at the moment. Power, timeout, 180 is about right, I suppose, but I think I'm gonna go 240. Actually, I might even go, yeah, I think 240. Yeah, I'll do. Uh, we're not gonna use box level, scan ad. So that's it, that's a digital channel created, okay? So now we wanna put that in a zone so we can find it. So close that, and here, double click where it says zone. We're now gonna start putting some of the channels we've created into a zone. So double click zone. A new window will appear, and this are, these are our zones. So in each zone here on the left, there are groups of channels. I know it's confusing when you first see it. These are the channels you've created, and these are the channels you've put into, into the selected zone. So if I select number one, like so, which was already selected, these are the four channels that are in that zone. When you're on your radio, and you select zone that's called hotspot. And normally you go up and down with these arrows, I think, to select zones here, arrows on the right there. You will see these four channels. When you turn the knob, these are the four channels you will see. If you go to analog, you will see these channels. These are analog channels that we've already created. I've got a duplex hotspot, and then we've got some simplex two meters, and we've got 70 centimeters. And the channels here are what are in there. The channel in the middle section is just the channels that you can choose from. It's basically all of your channels that you've ever added to the radio. So let's say you want to create a new bucket or a new zone for channels. Double click here. Let's call this one PMR channels. Okay, like so. Now at the moment there's nothing in that because we haven't created a channel for PMR. We could choose one of these, but none of them are PMR frequencies. I can't even remember if Alens does PMR. Let's find out. So... Let's just close this window for now. Go to the bottom channel. Let's put in a PMR frequency, and I never use PMR, so if I've got this wrong, tell me. We'll just do 446, okay? And it's a PMR is an analog channel, isn't it? Um, high power, spacing, let's do narrow. And we'll call it, I know it's wrong, but we'll call it PMR1, okay? And because it's analog, Look, the name's there, PMR1, but what I would do when I found the exact frequency, I would put the exact frequency in the names to remind me. 
power high, time out, we're going to need longer than 75 seconds, so 80 seconds, narrow, I'm pretty sure that would be okay, but it's only really an example of a PMR, so we go back to our zone on the left, double click zone, come on then, right, Go to PMR, click PMR, and these are all of our channels in the middle. And then we're going to add one here, or as many as we want, within reason, to our zone channel. So we're going to click PMR, and we're going to send it across. See? Send it across. We've now got one channel. Now, if we don't like that channel, let's say we send this one across as well for now. If we don't like it, then we tick, select either of them, and we hit the arrow that's going the opposite way. So we don't want that one, because that's not a PMR channel. Click the back arrow, so you're emptying your bucket. So you've got your all of your channels here, yeah, and then you've got your one, two, three, four, five, six buckets here that you can put them into. And on the radio, you'll scroll scroll through those buckets. So that's your digital channel. Let me show you uh, an um, analog normal channel. These are easier if you ask me. So GB3WR here. Double click, click the forward arrow. You can see it. And so you just put in the receive frequency and then the TX. You know when you TX and it's a minus shift of 6, 660 or it's a minus shift, you type that frequency in. So, um, so sometimes you have, you have to work that out. But normally if you look at the repeater site, you can see the website. So we've got our tone here, look, encode. If you want it both ways, decode as well. So that's when you're receiving a frequency, it also decodes. You don't get that squelch sound. You can select that as well. 94.8 for WR, we've named it GB3WR, we're on high power because we're going to use that when we're out and about analog and that's that's easier and then so then what you would then do is go back to your zone here quite laggy isn't it that one back to your zone you click your analog repeaters double click and look these are the channels here that are analog and then the new channels any new channels that you've created are here and you would just send them across with a, if, you know, if there's a new one there, you can send it across with the right and the left arrows. Analog channels there. So, so that's it really. So I think we're there. Once you've got that, once you've got channels, you've got zones. We're not going to do APRS in this. We're not going to do GPS settings in this video. We just is just basic. Get some channels in so we can sit there, listen to hotspots, listen to our our um, local repeaters. And maybe scat and have a quick listen around to some some uh, simplex channels. Once you've done all that, then connect the cable to your radio on the right hand side there. Plug it into your PC. You, you'll need to go right click device manager and detect the the correct COM port for the device. It says here port look. So look, go once it's if it's the correct one, click device port and select the right port for the radio. And then once you've done that, I can't do it now, just click right, and it will write that to the radio. And that's it. And the good thing about this is you can play around, tweak it around, and uh, it looks like you can actually add a, a boot image. Uh, power on logo, look. So you need to get it this, the right specifications for Alens, which I'll do a complete separate video doing that. Um, and fun times. So that's it. Well, thanks for watching my channel. Hopefully... Um, you know, you can, uh, this will get you started for now. Uh, if you're new, this should help you. Bye for now, 73. Please like and subscribe. Catch you on now. All the best.